everybody and uh, I want to welcome everybody to the usual traditional service at Christ Fellowship in Palmetto Bay, Florida. We have some great songs, uh, hymns, uh, Christmas uh, songs and uh, a lot of us uh, went last mm -hmm. night. I know Pastor Carrie was there and Doris and uh, a lot of people. Jesse was there uh, to the concert at Old Cutler Presbyterian right down the street which was incredible. It was wonderful, wonderful. Amen. We were blessed by it. Every, a lot of people were blessed by it. A lot of people from different churches in the area came by. We have a lot of great churches uh, in the area. And so uh, we're going to start off with the uh, uh, with Joy to the World, which is page 87. Now, I want to point out, when we get to the second uh, verse, we have a surprise. We're going to sing that in Japanese. Japanese. In Japanese. So, now listen, this is very important that you, so if you don't know Japanese, no, I'm serious, we're going to sing don't this, sing. don't sing the yeah, second right. verse, you know, because we have, we, we've flown in somebody from, I actually flew in somebody from Tokyo, who is going to sing it in Japanese for us, okay? <laughs> Write down your prayers, 
and uh, when we're gonna have our prayer request. So anybody have a prayer request? Raise your hands or speak up. Our uh, praise is good. Alexandra's uh, fifth grade friend who was, who was on the dark side. Yes. Is coming to the right side. Oh, Amen. fantastic. Amen. That's great. Stephen here at school and at lunch. And um, slowly she's been listening wow. to Alexandra's um, words. Wow. So hopefully, maybe next year she'll join us. Alexandra is like an angel in her life. She, she wow. Believes, but, you know, she believes it. So she, when she talks, she also has another um, friend who's um, Muslim. So she talks to her as well. Wonderful. To try to, well, thank you. So we're going to pray that that Alexandra's ministry continues and continues to be successful. And we want to thank the Lord for Alexandra and her ministry. We're so excited in that the Lord is blessing her ministry. Holy Spirit is guiding her. Okay, that's wonderful, Alexandra. Thank you very much. And I thank you very much for doing that prayer for that uh, young lady who's a friend of yours. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Prayer request, Manny. My right foot. No, no, that's true. That's true. He has a real problem with his right foot and uh, can help for that. Manny's uh, right foot. Yes, Steve. My wife's uh, instep on her left foot is, is collapsed down, Ooh. and she's in terrible pain. Terrible pain. Okay, absolutely. We want a prayer for our troops in the country and uh, our government. Um, all the and, and some of the hardships that are going around the world, people in the caravan and uh, California, California, well, well, in California, you mean the, the fires? The fires? Yeah. Yeah. Did fires. you know that? Excuse me. Did you know there were forty-two reported tornadoes in the state of Illinois yesterday? Yeah. That storm that's going through. Oh, yeah. Illinois got the worst of it. Trust me. Okay. While we're sitting here in the sunshine, you know. Don't forget to pray. So, anybody have any other prayer requests? Yes. Uh, Dwayne. I have a praise in, in the midst of the storm and the earthquake. I completed my sin. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. What do you say? He completed the fence. Oh my goodness. We were praying for the fence. We prayed for your fence last week. So if the Lord comes, he has his house in yeah. order, right? Yes, he does. And let's Amen. pray for Ann Goodrich also. Yes, and what, what? She's recovering from back surgery. Okay, absolutely. And a friend of mine, Larry Katz, is going in for surgery, so prayers for him. Alexandra, I saw you with your hand up. Uh, my sister's shoulder. Your sister what? My sister's shoulder. shoulder. Oh, your sister's yes. shoulder. Yeah. Okay, what what's wrong? What, what, what's your sister's Jessie. name? Jessie. She's a nurse. She's a um, labor and delivery nurse. So she works 12 hours delivering. And so she has to lift up, you know, the women. Right. It's not, it makes her shoulder come out of the socket. Oh, whoa. What's your sister's name? Jessie. Jessie. You had to ask your mother what your sister's name was? because she has, like, I call her twin now. <laughs> oh. Okay. I hope she's not like me because they once told me they thought I had a split personality. I said, I wish I could get it down to two. I'd be okay. You know, but okay. We're praying for your sister. Anybody else? John. Okay. Oh, she broke it? Oh. Oh, sorry. What's her name? Her name is Obi. Ophi? Elvi. Elvi. Okay, yeah, absolutely. And pray for my uh, my mother-in-law, Francesca, who's 104 years old, who has a cold. There's this terrible, really bad cold going around you know, when you're 104. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The, the security guard that used to live there for three months came to die. The security guard, yeah, what about her? She's very sick. She's sick? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know her name, but I remember the. Security. I don't remember her name. She yeah, the, the gal who was the security guard here, praying for her because she's ill. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, Jesse. I want to pray for my son David, who's in prison, and for his family. He's got a hearing coming up, doesn't he? Hmm? He has a hearing coming up. Yeah. Okay. Pray that the hearing is is helpful to him. 
no matter how it turns out, that it's helpful to him. And we want to pray for your upcoming uh, speaking. Yes, I've been invited to speak on Park Avenue in New York to, I believe it's like that. They told me about 800 people there, so. I want to carry the message of the gospel. Amen. Praise God. Yeah, be a good example. Yes. Friends and family, absolutely. Friends and family in the churches throughout the area and the uh, uh, and any unspoken prayers that anybody might have, you know, yes. we want to cover those. Pauline, do you have yes. a prayer? Um, for mothers and sons. Mothers and sons, okay. Absolutely. Yes, Manny. For fathers and daughters. <laughs> For fathers and daughters. I feel like we're leaving out cousins and uncles. You know. <laughs> Go ahead, yes. Mary in the Philippines. Mary in the Philippines. Oh, yeah, what about Mary? How's she doing? Just praise and thanks. She's praise doing, and thanks for Mary. Great. Yeah. She's, uh, she stopped her job in the factory, thankfully. She's working in the market. And she's going to look for a, another better job in January. Right now, she's holding it together. God bless you, Mary. You're the best. That's her father's helping with things, but wow. Mary's, Mary's shouldering the brunt of the responsibility of the family. Wow, that's, that's great. And uh, praise and thanks again for the daughter sharing May's health. Yeah. And all, we have many, many, many friends in the Philippines that are watching. So right, that's so wonderful. All of them. <laughs> Carmen in Mexico. She watches right. every week. Wow. And she kind of. Battles, God bless you, Carmen. She battles mm -hmm. some depression and some inner demons, but she's she's amazing right. and she's so talented and gifted and she gives praise and thanks and she's Carmen like, if Christ is for you who could be against you? Amen. Don't worry about that depression. And we never forget you. <laughs> we don't. God and everyone you. else around the world. We have many, yeah. many, many This is a tough time. This year is a tough, tough time for people who suffer from depression. <laughs> and for for a lot of people, you know, because you look at it, it seems like the whole world is around the family and all sorts of great things happening. You, you know, especially if you're going through a tough time, you feel even more alone. But there are places you can go. There are churches you can go, and different places and groups you can go. Praying for people that suffer from alcoholism and drug addiction during this period of time. It's a lonely deal, and uh, some of them get suicidal and things like that. There's places you can go. We have ministry ourselves, a live again ministry that people will uh, befriend you and want to see you and want to try to help you. Okay, so that's the deal there. Okay, is if there anything, there's nothing else. Louis, why don't you take over and say a prayer for us? Thank you. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, number one, for the opportunity to gather here today, Lord, to, to be in your presence, Lord. You're here with us. May the Holy Spirit guide us and direct us in all of our steps, Lord. And Father, uh, a praise for Alexandra and her ministry, and please continue to encourage her and her friend that she continues to listen to your word being spoken through her, Lord. Um, and Jesse, her sister, may she continue to do her job well and also get healing for her shoulder. Uh, and for our dear friend Manny, may his foot continue to, 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 to get better through all the pain that he's going through and Steve's wife's foot as well. Uh, Lord, uh, please uh, be with our troops and our government and our leaders, Lord. Just guide them. Just, just keep them on point with your will, Lord. And all the churches that are involved here in, in our community, locally, uh, regionally, nationally, and worldwide, Father, there's so much persecution in the church. And Father, we just just be with all those all those brothers and sisters in Christ that are going through these difficult challenges. And Lord, uh, our state of California here in this country is going through some very difficult times and, and kind of rebuilding after the fire that they've had out there. Uh, we also have had some terrible storms in, in uh, Illinois. May you please be with those folks. And, you know, Lord, be with our with friends and family that aren't here and, and, and our sons and, and daughters and mothers and, and all the unspoken prayers that we haven't gotten to today or that our people have in their hearts, Lord. And uh, we, we praise for your, the strength that you've given Dwayne to be diligent and continue with his project that has fenced at home. Uh, please, Lord, continued improvements of recovery for Ann Goodrich as she is. Yes, she's coming back from back surgery. Amen. 
Lord, just uh, just give her the strength to be patient with her recovery yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and to just listen to the doctors and go through all the rehabilitation that she needs to go through. Lord, be with the doctors that are going to be handling Larry Katz's surgery, Father. May they just have your incredible wisdom and the gifts that you have given them and may they, they just rise up strongly to have a successful surgery for Larry and and John, John's mother-in-law, LB, uh, this terrible break uh, uh, in, in her leg, Lord, please just be with her and, and heal her quickly and, and, and in your time and in your patience and, and Francesca, Francesca uh, may you please, uh, you know, she's been here for a long time, Lord, keep us here with, keep her here with us, Lord, and just get her, help her to get over her cold, Lord, and, and we have the, the the security guard that's here at Christ Fellowship. Uh, she has fallen ill, Lord, and uh, I just pray that, that you give her the time that she needs to get well again so that she can she can do the job that she's done so well here over the years. And uh, Lord, also, uh, David, uh, Jesse's son and his family, may they just continue to surrender to your will, Lord, and to just be blessed by whatever happens in the hearings. That he that's coming up for him lord i hope this is a, a time for him to grow in you lord and to surrender the things that he needs to surrender and father we, we lift up our brother russell as he continues to share your word in the places that that your word sometimes is not as strong as it needs to be it has been in the past but he is there to to lift it up to lift it up in the in the atlantic meeting that he's going to be going up in New York and speaking to a lot of people who don't know you as they should and you need to be integral in the lives of all these people especially in recovery our third step tells us that Lord so thank you for for him and be with him safe travels up to New York and back and father I just Lord we have so much to be grateful for you know we're here together we have our church family be with those Lord that that are not with family have them rely on you because we are your children you are our father we're never alone if you're in our heart and father i want to thank you for carmen in mexico and maria in the philippines and their loyalty and listening to to the pastor's message lord and and i just want to thank you also lord for all the people that are tuning in on youtube and listening to pastor carrie um he just he's a man of God and just loves the Lord with every every part of his being. And it's wonderful that that we, we, we see that you're supporting the, the ministry by just listening. Thank you so very much, Father, for all the people that are here, all the people that are listening around the world. And we pray this in your son's precious and holy name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Louis. Welcome. And the uh, next uh, song is uh, number 76. And... O come, O come, Emmanuel.
To pray, uh, Jeanette and Clinio are in Panama, that's why they're not here, and so we're praying for their safe travels. They'll be there for a week. And Anthony, there's some we're praying for him too. Uh, hopefully, I didn't leave out anybody else, but uh, go ahead. We're going to do 95. Go tell it on the mountain. Jesus. 
So let's pray for um, the tithes and the offerings. Lord Jesus, once again, we, we praise you for your finished work on the cross. And we thank you so much for having such a... We're so fortunate to be in this country where we can have, and I hope we never take it for granted, uh, yeah. fellowship of other Christians, to be able to freely worship. Uh, the churches in this area are incredible. Pray that anybody who needs to a church family comes either to Christ Fellowship or Old Cutler or whatever. There's so many churches in this area, and we are so fortunate. And the churches all need our support, and also to carry, of course, the gospel message throughout our our, our country, our county, the nation, the world. And we pray for these tithes and all other offerings that they're used wisely. We ask all this in your blessed Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Okay, buddy. two more hymns 98 Christmas stuff I heard the bells on Christmas Day